one of my biggest passions in life is is golf, period. Uh, and I speak extensively about the opportunities to play golf through the venues that uh, Branson offers and the Ozarks with uh, Big Cedar Lodge, whether it's Buffalo Ridge or Ozarks National or Top of the Rock or soon-to-be Payne's Valley. Terrific experiences. And uh, the release that was sent out yesterday, so encouraging, and we welcome Janet Glazer here to the airwaves. And I, I just want to say thank you for uh, the hard work that, that Johnny Morris and the entire team at Big Cedar Lodge have put together for these events to commence on August 17th. Well done. Thank you. Hi, Nate. Thanks for having us. Um, and I know Johnny is thankful for you saying that because a big passion of his is just getting people connected to the great outdoors. And I think his, he really believes that one of the best ways to do that right now is golf. And bringing a tournament like this to the Ozarks is going to be able to help us do that. How is Johnny Morris's golf game? It's you know, be I good. can't answer that. I'm not sure at all, honestly. I think he honestly has more of a passion for building courses than playing on them. Um, and I think he's proven time and time again that he's really great at throwing in his um, style and quality on the courses that are built out here. But not too sure about his golf game. <laughs> you know, I am constantly amazed when I make my way out there and uh, you know, every time it is it is an experience to play golf, and I and I always recognize that. Uh, you know, if I play golf around here, I, I you know I, I don't I try to not take it for granted, but I like to fly around and play a quick round and be done. When I'm out there, it's about soaking it in. I mean, when you play Buffalo Ridge or Ozarks National or, or Top of the Rock or soon to be Payne's Valley, it is an, it is a true experience, Janet. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the biggest motivation over here is that Johnny Morris is trying to build the best golf, de golf destination in America, right? And I think he's doing it. I mean, we have courses designed by the top names in golf, Jack Nicklaus, Tom Fazio, Corin Crenshaw, Gary Player, and like you mentioned, Tiger Woods um, most recently. So I think he's really taken a passion to getting the best designers out here, the best quality of courses. And like you said, um, locals from all over the area will come here. And I think everyone is just amazed, especially the first time they come out here to see the quality of courses out here. Um, and two of the courses that are going to be featured in the event, which is Buffalo Ridge and Ozarks National, have been bringing home accolades that are, you know, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the most iconic courses in the world, like Bandon Dunes and Pinehurst. And we're definitely holding our own. Um, Ozarks National was recently ranked the best new public course in the world by Golf Digest. And Buffalo Ridge was ranked the number one course you can play in Missouri by Golf Week in their 2019 Best Issue. So a lot of exciting things happening for Big Cedar Golf. And that's just terrific because, you know, it puts this whole entire area on the map. It's not just about, you know, spending time in X or Y or Z. It's about this entire southwest Missouri. And one thing that's unique, because I think you see dissension amongst the two big cities, like if you're from Kansas City, you don't like St. Louis and vice versa. And that's beginning mm -hmm. to mend itself. But I feel like in southwest Missouri, there truly is this strong continuity between forces, whether you're on whichever side. I mean, it's just kind of a unique bond we see. And so that's what that's what's great to see is this area being represented by Branson. And if you live in Springfield, you don't feel like Branson's some threat to you. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. I think that people in this area are just excited to – I mean, like you said, put this place on the map. Um, whenever people come here or if they're not able to come here, if they're able to see it on an internationally televised event such as a tour like this, um, it just gives us more opportunities to let people fall in love with the Ozarks. You know, this is such a beautiful place, and so many people who are not able to come here who do for the first time um, are just blown away by what's available here. I mean, not only the golf courses that we offer, but – um, we have so many attractions like the Shooting Academy and Dogwood Canyon, and I think it just blows people away that there's this hidden treasure in the Ozarks, you know, that's kind of untapped, but I don't think it's going to be a secret for that much longer. It's definitely already getting back out there. And I think what's unique about what Johnny does, like you go to Walt Disney World in Orlando, and I guarantee you there are people in, who are in Orlando who are thinking to themselves, 
you know, I really wish this thing was in, like, uh, Sarasota. Or, you know, it's it's nice to have it in Orlando, but, you know, it, it'd be nice if it was a mile away. Yeah. The way that Johnny Morris creates and designs things aesthetically, you couldn't find a, a better visionary. I mean, his, his team of, of architects must just be some of the most comprehensive and smart individuals that I've ever come across because – to every detail, when you play his golf courses, Buffalo Ridge, Ozarks National, Top of the Rock, Payne Valley, you see detail. And, I mean, it goes down to the bridges that you cross in your golf cart. And that is appreciated by the most respected people. I mean, that's amazing. Absolutely. And I think you can see that across all of the things that Johnny Morris puts his hands on. I mean, from the retail experience that he changed, I mean, whenever he built Bass Pro Shops. Um, back in the day, and to Big Cedar Lodge here, like you mentioned, people are blown away just by the attention to the little things that make such a big impact on everyone's experience, right? So from the tea boxes where they're carved out buffaloes on the Buffalo Ridge, you know, tea boxes, or um, like you said, the bridges that are just the added experience that no one thinks about, that Johnny Morris thinks about, that really bring home just more quality to the golf courses that are offered out here. Now, here's the here's the lingering question. Do you think that any of these courses are long enough? And, and I know you can't really speak to this because it's probably, you know, this is a what-if question. But are the, quest, are, are, are the golf courses being designed to potentially host a PGA Tour event at some point? Or do they have the length necessary that the tour might say, I don't know? Our courses are definitely being built with those things in mind. Um, I think that's safe to say. And we're looking forward to not just hosting this event coming up, but many signature events in the future. So um, I think there are eyes on the prize here at Big Cedar Golf, and that's something that we're looking forward to. And I'll be honest, I think one of the things that separates uh, even the Legends of Golf Tournament or this one that's coming up August 17th through the 26th um, is, is from the price cutter is that there's a TV deal. And, and you guys have created the opportunity for this to be shown on Golf Network. I mean, it was heartbreaking news to see that the price cutter charity championship, Corn Ferry Tour, is not going to have fans. But mm-hmm. there's a viewing experience attached to what Johnny Morris is doing, and I think that is awfully important. Yeah, I was going to say, um, though we can't have spectators, I mean, I think the whole golf world is kind of bummed about that in general, but we're super excited to be able to broadcast it on Golf Channel. Um, and there's going to be so many ways to follow it on there, plus uh, social channels are going to be following it as well. Um, but, yeah, it's going to be in Golf Channel broadcasted to 340 million homes in 170 countries. And, um while we can't do it at this event, like I said, in the future, we're hoping that all of this kind of normalizes a bit and we're able to host spectators in the future for different signature events. Now, I know how expensive it is to, to, to have the Golf Channel come out and produce and host a show, but I'll tell you, when you own Bass Pro and Cabela's, I think you're doing just fine. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I mean we're that. very excited to have them out here. We are. Uh, Janet, how long have you been with the with the team at Big Cedar? I've been here for about three years. So I've been through uh, two Legends tournaments, and it was absolutely amazing to be a part of that. Um, I think when Legends went away last year when we announced that we weren't bringing that back, all of us knew that this was going to be temporary. I mean, with the golf mecca out here um, that Johnny Morris was building, there was no way that that was going to be um long before we were announcing something else. So we were all very excited to see um, the Charles Schwab series here at Big Cedar. How, how uh, Im- impressive is this to have the Charles Schwab series come here? I mean, I, in terms of as a team, what, what is the entire team of Big Cedar thinking when this was announced to everybody? <laughs> I mean, I'm not an avid golfer by any means, but I do know enough to know that to have that tournament here, it, it really just speaks to the caliber of courses that are being built, right? I mean, that is just such an honor to be able to bring something like that here and showcase the Ozarks. And I mean, it all ties back to we really just want to showcase what we have here and to be able to do it on such an international scale um, is just 
such a great opportunity. And again, we just want people to fall in love with the Ozarks and really understand what's out here. So where, how will the players get there? Will they fly into Branson Airport, or what, what's the logistics like for the players that, who will compete? Uh, I don't know any of that right now. I know in years past they would fly into either the Branson Airport or the Springfield Airport, just depending on their preference. But um, And this isn't just about golf. Um, and the players actually are one of the ones that made this tournament happen. This location was actually requested by a lot of players because – they're not just golfers, right? They're avid outdoorsmen. And when they come to Big Cedar, <laughs> they get to go to Dogwood Canyon and fish and shoot at Shooting Academy, like I mentioned before. And um, just to hear that they were so excited about Big Cedar and to keep coming back as like a preferred location meant a lot to us to have them. Well, it's like uh, Missouri's biggest grown-up uh playground out there i mean there's just so much to do it's endless if you can't find something to do within the big cedar family then i don't <laughs> i mean i'm not really sure how to help you at that point because opportunities are immense that's exactly right and straight from johnny morris he said this is just the beginning for big cedar golf so we're really excited about the future um I know the tournament is just a couple weeks away, so we're going to be preparing for that, having a lot of fun getting ready for that, and uh, having these players out here competing for a $3 million purse on each event. So it's going to be a lot of fun here, and we're really looking forward to it. Will the golf course have to shut down at any point before August 17th? Um, I believe we're shutting down the 16th. All of that information can be found at bigcedar.com slash golf. It'll have uh, the temporary closures posted up there um, so people can easily find that information. But, uh, yeah, there will be some temporary closures while this is happening. All right. Now, Janet, I can't let you go without asking, how's your golf game? <laughs> Oh, no. I was afraid of that. Um, my golf game is not good, but my husband's is amazing. Uh, so he's really excited about this tournament coming here. Um, I know when I first mentioned to him that this was coming out, he was so excited. And he was one of the ones that turned me on to how big of a deal this tournament really is. Uh, so it got me that much more excited about what we're bringing here and being able to put a spotlight on everything that's going on. Well, it truly is amazing. I mean, every time that I uh, go out and play Buffalo Ridge, I am just, um, I don't know, I'm taken away with its beauty, and it, it's a stark reminder. I mean, there are so many thoughts that process through my head when I'm out there because you just take it all in. I mean, you really, truly feel like you're in heaven. <laughs> I mean, yes. between the valleys <laughs> and the rises, it, it's just gorgeous. And if folks haven't been out there, it's just worth your time to go stand out on the driving range. That's how magnificent this facility is. Th that Absolutely. alone, I think, will give people peace. Yeah, no, for sure. I've I've gone just in the cart with my husband while he's played Buffalo Ridge, and obviously I've toured all of the courses out here. And um, it, I've seen other courses because I've grown up around golf. I've always been around it, but I have never seen courses that are put together the way these are. And like I said, I'm just the cart. I'm just in the cart, but it's a true experience. It's not just about the golf game. It's about what you're seeing, what you're experiencing, the bridges and all of the architecture that goes up into all of this. And it's, it's truly amazing. I think there might be a future golfer in you. I think you just got to find it. I think you need to put that ball on the tee, tee it high and let it fly, Janet. You will fall in love with hey. this game just like your husband has. You know, it's not out of the realm of possibility because I do have all of these things here, so there's no reason not to get into it, right? <laughs> I mean, it's right at your hand. That's right, right at your disposal. Janet, look, I appreciate your time this morning. Uh, so happy for Big Cedar in this tournament. Again, uh, the Charles, Charles Schwab Series, it's August 17th, and you can watch all of it on Golf Channel through the 26th featuring Ozarks National and Buffalo Ridge. Janet, uh we look forward to promoting this event as it uh, prolongs, and uh, congratulations. This is really neat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nate. Have a good one.